YouTubers. What's up? Albert Mitre here. Good to see you guys. I want to thank all you new subscribers. I think there's like five new subscribers. I'm like on a roll. I don't know. I'm up to like 225. It's a miracle. Thank God. Thank you subscribers. Thank all the hardcore subscribers that watch this channel. Anyways, had a good weekend. Went out to Slab City out by uh, Salton Sea, Palm Springs area, California. And uh, yeah, it was a good time. It was weather gets up to like 130 degrees the heat but last night it was about uh i don't know 90 85 i slept in my car around this little uh, tree area that i cleaned up and uh, right next to this bar that they got there and i uh, you know it's like the last place in america i guess where uh, the land's owned by the government or the, the the teachers association or something some trust but uh you're allowed to homestead there kind of right now and you can just set up a campsite and if you protect your site you know and you ask the people around you you're allowed you can stay there so it's the only place i know in america that you're allowed to really do that other than like bureau land management where they let you stay two weeks and you got to leave a week but uh something like that but I had a good night they were all welcome to me last night i don't know it's interesting a lot of broken down vehicles and stuff and uh campers and trailers but people are getting by it's hot out there it's very rugged it's only like 200 people 150 that stayed during the summer but it gets up to like 2,000 I guess in the winter and uh yeah they were all welcoming last night uh you know they offered me gave me some food and this little bar they made like a party bar music it was all cool that's where I stayed by and then this morning I got up and had some coffee at another place a coffee shop down the way like seven to ten in the morning they have coffee like a dollar donation and unfortunately some guy uh od'd on drugs and uh heroin and uh his mom was there and anyway she showed up and it was really sad they all knew the guy and i guess he was a close friend i never knew him i stayed there but they were pissed off they thought i was going to videotape the thing and they're saying people just go there and uh you know videotape and make movies and bad publicity and stuff and i guess it's got a lot of stuff you can talk dirt about it but uh it's got a lot of good qualities and i really feel bad for the guy and the mom it's a terrible situation and uh, i didn't video it or nothing but uh they saw me walk around i walked over to the trailer with my uh i had my uh tripod with me and they thought i was going to film the thing because everything gets filmed but i guess these days we film the good and the bad you know it's sad but uh I guess awareness, seeing what's happening with stuff. I like it out there, and I like cleaning up, and uh, there's plenty of trash. It's a gold mine for a guy like me. There's just trash everywhere. I don't know why. It's uh, I don't know how I got that way. So much plastic and stuff everywhere and debris, but uh, there's some holes, some sinkholes or dugout holes, and I'm going to try to put some of the trash in there and then cover it up with dirt, you know, but you can't work too much in the heat it's so hot you know it's so uh, but i'll be going back they're saying that all the uh, youtube guys don't show up they just come out and talk dirt and get stories and uh you know of the love the the hill the blessed mountain kind of thing and other stories and the artwork but uh and then they talk about all the drug addicts and alcoholics but i'm gonna look for a good story in it for the most part and try to give a a balanced viewpoint you know of my perspective i'm not in a long time slab dude i'm just this is my second trip the first time i ever went in my car by myself so uh but i like the fact that there's no rent and you can sort of homestead until they kick you out whatever the teachers association or the government whoever owned it and then they abandoned it and they tore down the building so i think it's a teacher's trust fund and i think by uh the mountain blessed mountain or whatever they call it Love Mountain, uh, maybe like 100 acres was bought off and maybe they're going to sell the rest of the property. I think some of the Slab City people might try to buy it, but it's pretty cool the fact that you can't rough it out and uh, try to make a living out there. Just a survival lifestyle and thrive. And, you know, you got to protect your stuff from drug addicts just like anywhere else. You know, if you leave valuables that get stolen, then they'll probably sell them to whoever, their buddies or get meth or whatever. It's the high power drugs mostly. You know, and it's just the way it is. It's the facts of life when you get those addictions going. So, uh, yeah, I had a good weekend, you know. Unfortunately, except for the guy passing away, it's sad. And, uh, you know, 
I feel real bad for his mom, and hopefully she'll be all right, and the family. But that sucks. But it happens everywhere. Wherever they do drugs, eventually, you know, you don't hear a lot of old drug addicts and alcoholics and uh, or electricians, you know. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, unfortunate. Now I was down in San Diego. You know, I put a lot of miles on my car traveling around, but I'm a nomad. And I got my new hat from Oxnard. They ran me about 30 bucks, so... Yeah, a buddy hooked me up with a few bucks, you know, so I'm trying to be high functional the best I can, not irritate people and camp out in one spot. I got land down in Nanza, but I get a little lonely. I should be fixing that up, you know, but I'm going to try to rent it out to some campers from Hip Camp. And, uh, but I get lonely out there, so I don't know. I like the social life out in, uh, Slab City, you know, uh, yeah, some interesting people. Some of them don't like society, or they feel like uh, maybe they're judged or a little different. But uh, you know, for the most part, they're all good people to me. You know, so uh, I got to give them that. You know, they welcome me. They uh, offer me food. I had some food, some chili. I guess they cook dinner every night. Coffee's sort of free. You know, you don't want to go out there just taking. But if you're homeless and you need a place, you go out and maybe they'll welcome you. And if you hustle. You know, if you bring something like a talent or something you can do, I even see a lot of recyclables around, but, uh, you know, you can recycle, but, uh, yeah, if you really try to give back or whatever, you can probably make it out there, you know, so it's a good thing. I'm going to try to do some cleanup and, uh, yeah, see if I can help out a little bit. I enjoy cleaning up, you know, so uh, plenty of trash out there for a guy like me, so I'll do some videos of that, you know, and, uh, yeah, it's some interesting stuff. There is, like, uh, rules and, or whatever. And there's, uh, you know, they got guidelines. You just don't be an idiot and, uh, you know, try to mind your own business and don't hurt anybody and, you know, be respectful and you'll do all right. So, uh, for the most part, don't have too many valuables, you know, I guess. And take care of your place and, uh, you know, build it out of leftover supplies or whatever you find. But it helps if you have maybe two people somebody to watch your spot, just like anywhere else, you know, any high thievery, it's just part of the deal anywhere, a lot of places, so, uh, yeah, you gotta protect your stuff, you know, I've been robbed, and I've smartened up, then I've, I've dumbed up again, but I've been robbed, at, not just out, not out there, other places, so it's not just one spot, you know, it can happen anywhere, but I enjoyed the place overall, and, uh, I guess it's one of the places you can get you know, have like a place to stay, but you can give back too, you know, so that's the way society is, it's like, there's trash and debris all over now, you know, Venice, all these places, it's like apocalyptic, pretty crazy all over, so uh, not much difference from Slab City to the real world these days, they call it Babylon for some weird reason, I'm not sure, but uh, sort of interesting, sort of cool, I'm a little nutty, I guess I'll fit in there to some degree, you know, a lot of wear and tear in my vehicle and gas money. It's not cheap getting out there, you know. So nothing's really free or cheap, you guys. But, uh, you know, you could section off some tires, get you a little spot, ask the neighbors, and get you a little location. If that doesn't work, maybe go to another spot. So that's what I'm going to try to do and, you know, meet some people and uh, have some fellowship. All right, you guys, thanks for watching the video, and thanks for the five new subscribers. That's awesome. I hope you leave some comments. If you don't like the channel, I'm sorry. You know, start your own channel. That's what I suggest, you guys. It's, I enjoy it. I've done over 700 videos, you guys. Not super editing, but I pump them out. So if you don't like this one, hopefully you'll watch the next one. I think this is number 703. All right, if you like this video and it give you, a, like Sean Kennel says, if it's give you a content or whatever, a, you know, if you enjoy it, please subscribe and smash the like button and all that stuff all right thank you i don't have any uh, hats or gear i'm selling right now and uh no paypal but uh i want to thank you all for all your support all right along the way thanks a lot